Hi, welcome to Moving Mango. I'm Henna and this is Bo. And today we are going to do a total body Pilates workout to help us getting stronger, to get all the muscles around our body, just strengthening and also to improve our posture. So if you're ready, just roll your mat. Let's do this together. All right, now let's start with some warm up movement. So I wanted to stand up with your legs opening hip with the pad. Now pull the belly button in, make sure you track the feet parallel to each other. Relax your shoulders, arms along your body, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And a couple more breaths and exhale deeply. Awesome. And now slowly rotate your head around your neck with your breath. Reverse. And one more round. And then reverse. And slowly bring your head back to the center. Open your arms to the side. Relax your shoulders and start to rotate your torso to one side. Come back to the other side and back to the center. Stabilize your hips so we only feel our obliques are twisting. Keep breathing to the other side and back to the center. And two more times each side. Last one. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Bring your hands up and lift it all the way up. And exhale down. Soften your knees. Don't lock the knees here. Inhale. And exhale. And three. Deep breath. Two. Use the breath to control the movement. Last one. And slowly bring your arms down. Gently shake your hips. Rotate your hips around in a circle. And then reverse. Alright, now the next movement, I want to allow yourself to step one step forward and then one foot backward. So soften your back knee, inhale and bend your knee, lift your arm up and then come back. So you can adjust the distance between your feet, you can open a little bit wider. So that way when you bend it down, it doesn't bother your knees. So listen to your knees, come back. Three. Two. Last one. And switch to the opposite side. Good. So inhale down. Exhale lift. Four. Three. That's amazing. Two. And last one. Down and up. And slowly bring it back. Rotate your ankles. And then reverse to the other side and then reverse. All right, and now I wanted to rotate the wrist, reverse, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And then reverse. All right, and when you're ready, go to the beginning of the mat. You're gonna start the main workout from here. So I wanted to round your spine, go each vertebra at a time down to as low as you can. You can put your hands all the way down to the mat. Soften the knees. Now inhale and walk your hands toward the front. Go to full plank. Stay here for a pause for a second. And then walk back without fluctuating fluctuate your hips so much. So listen to your knees here and we just really engage your abs. Use the abs to control the movement. Awesome. And then come back. Next. There's one modification, make it easier for your wrist. Just put your hands down, knees down. Go a little bit further and start to put your forearms down to the mat. So listen to your body, go to forearm plank and then move back, walk back. Awesome. And then slowly bring it back two more times. Pause and come back. And last one. And slowly bend your knees down. Come to on for position. Shoulders on top of the wrist, hips on top of the knees. Inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to keep your feet and your knees toward the center. Shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen one leg. Lift as high as you can. Bring it down. 
and switch to the other side. So make sure you don't arch your back here. Keep your back in neutral position. Only your legs are moving, your hips stabilized. Do it slowly to the other side. So it looks simple, but you really need to engage all the muscles together just to stabilize the hips and to make it all the muscles work and burn. Awesome. And to the opposite side. And a couple more times, inhale. And exhale. Try to bring your leg up and down slowly with control. Two. To the other side. And last one. To the opposite side and slowly bring your leg down to the mat. Tuck your feet, put your forearms down. And now inhale slowly, lift one knee off the mat, push all the way back, come back and down on one side first for 10 times before we move to the opposite side. Nine, pull the belly button in. Eight, lengthen the neck, look to the middle of your fingers. Seven, six, keep breathing. And five more times with your own breath. Four, inhale, lift, lengthen. Three, and two, and last one. And to the opposite side, that's amazing guys. So lift your knee off the mat, push, come back. And nine more times. Keep breathing, engage your abs as much as possible. Now squeeze in the thighs to bring your leg back to the center. Squeeze your booty and belly button towards the spine. And last one. And slowly bring your knee down, gently show your hips, take a deep breath, extend the ankles again. Inhale deeply again. Exhale deeply. Awesome. And now I'm going to allow yourself to inhale, open your leg wider, come back to the other side and back. You can lengthen your arms to make it more room to move the leg. But listen to the wrist. Put your forearm down if it's easier for the wrist. Keep breathing, squeeze in the thighs and bring your leg down slowly with control so all the muscles are working. Good. And last one, to the other side and slowly bring your knees down. Lie all the way down on your belly. Put your hand next to your chest, close your elbows to the back. Now inhale and press your hands down, just lift your torso a little bit, slightly higher, and then come back. I want you to really listen to your lower back here. If you feel like you, your back is flexible and you feel a little bit more, that like you want to stretch the chest and the front of your body, and you lengthen all the way, engage your abs, and push your arms up. But again, only go to the point that you feel good with the lower back. So engage, pull the belly button toward the spine. We're gonna try to do 10 times together here. So 10, come back. Now try to lift your hips off the mat to make it more challenging. Nine. Eight. Inhale up, and exhale down, and seven. Six, keep breathing. Pull the belly button in. Always close your elbows towards the body. Five. Awesome. Lengthen the neck. Look down all the time. Three. Put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. Two. And last one. Press. And then come back. And bring your hands over your head. Engage your abs. Lift your legs just above the mat, your arms up, and start to make a little pose with the opposite hand and foot. So, I wanted to feel that you're swimming here with your torso really stabilized. 
Only your arms and your legs are moving. And 10, 9, 8, 7. Engage your abs. 5. Lower your torso if it's easier for the lower back. 3, 2, and 1. And hands down, legs down. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Awesome. And now when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to lean on one side. Use your hand to support your head. Now bend your bottom knee, lengthen your top leg all the way up. Or just as far as you can. Now feel free to bend your knee here. Or just lengthening all the way if you can. Feel good. Flex the ankle. ankle and then extend and flex and extend. In three, two, and last one. Down and extend. And bring your leg all the way down. Bend your knees, slide your toes towards the hips, and lengthen again, and down again, bend, good. I'm going to try to do this for 8 more times to make it 10 on each side, 7, inhale halfway and exhale halfway, keep breathing, 6, make sure you don't raise your shoulders all the way up. Really keep your shoulders far away from your ears. And five. Four, squeeze your inner thighs. Three. Awesome. And two. And last one. Down and bend and slowly bring your leg down. All right, extend the ankle, keep the knees at night degrees the hips at 90 degrees open your leg as wide as you can and then come back in 10 times with your own breath slowly squeeze the inner thighs extend the ankles feel your booty is burning and two and last one lift and down, and open all the way up, lengthen your legs, flex the ankle, make a little pose here towards the chest. Press your lower leg down, and slowly bend your knee, bring your leg down. Take a deep breath, and you know, deeply through your nose, and exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, and when you're ready, I wanted to allow yourself to put your forearm down, hand on hand, Bend your bottom knee, your top leg lengthening, flex the ankle. Now lift your weight tiger, lift your hips as high as you can and hold it here. So inhale, lift your arm all the way up to the ceiling, hand over your head and then lift up. So just engage your abs and keep your torso at the same position all the time. But all the muscles are still working and only your arm are moving, is moving. But then you also feel all the heaviness from your body to hold and keep your hips at that position, high and long and lean, good. Keep breathing, inhale and exhale in three, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hips down, hand on hand again, hips up and down in nine, eight, seven, Shoulders far away from your ears. Four, three, two, and last one. Lift and down. And go to the opposite side. That's awesome. So, hands support your head. Bend your bottom knee. Your top leg lengthen. Lift it all the way up. Flex the ankle. And then extend. And four more times. Slowly. Good. And last one. Extend the ankle, bring your leg all the way down. Bend your knee until your toes touch the ground. And slide all the way toward the hips, lengthening again. And down. Like we dancing. Good. Eight. Um, seven. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway. And again, release your shoulders, but stabilize the shoulders here.
four more times with your own breath. Three, inhale and exhale. Two. And last one, down and bend and slowly close the knees. Keep your knees and your hips at 90 degrees and open your leg as wide as you can and then close. Inhale and exhale. Good. Squeeze the inner thighs to bring your leg back to the center. Extend the ankles. And last one. And slowly bring your legs down. Open all the way up. Lengthen your legs. Flex the ankle. Make a little pulse here towards the chest. Press your lower leg down. And slowly bend your knee. Bring your leg down. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, I want you to allow yourself to rotate the ankles. Reverse. And then we're going to move to the next one. Forearm down. Lengthen your top leg. And hand on hand. Lift your hips higher. Lift your waist up higher. So hip go all the way. And now from here, really engage your abs. Lengthen your arm all the way up. And hand over your head. And then bring it back. So again, only your arm is moving. Slowly with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Almost done. Three, two, and last one. And then come back hand on hand. Bring your hips down and lift it up. Slowly. Take a deep breath. Awesome. And last one, lift and down and slowly come back. Sit and hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth. And when you're ready, just sit along the mat. Bend your knees, arms all the way up, lengthen the spine. And exhale, slowly bring your arms down, hands over towards the back. So lift and down. Awesome. And lift and down. And now, if you want to make it a little bit more challenge, lean backward. So make sure you don't arch your back, you don't round your spine. Just go to the part you feel comfortable with the lower back, but also a little bit challenging. And move your arms and then forward, backward, and then lift. Awesome. Use your whole arms to move. You can open your arms a little bit wider if that helps you to not reach your hands towards the floor. So listen to your body. Good. And this is awesome just to get the blood going all around your body from the head to the toes. Come back. And last one. And slowly bring it back, lengthen the spine. Now hands to the front, lean backward again. You can move your feet towards the hips if it's easier for you to keep balance. Open your chest and now inhale, bend one knee towards the back, lengthen to the other side and then come back and 10 times to each side. Nine and eight. Keep breathing, reach a little bit further, seven, Really feel your chest and your shoulder is opening here and relax your shoulders. Don't make any tension. Don't go all the way up like this. It's, it's going to cause a lot of stretch on your neck and your shoulder. Awesome. Inhale and exhale. And four. To the other side. Three. That's amazing. Two. And last one to the opposite side and slowly bring it back. Hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath and hold deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Good. Gently shut your hips. Exhale. 
All right, and now we wanted to allow yourself to lengthen your legs, flex the ankle, extend the ankles. Now, just feel free to soften your knees if it's easier for you to lengthen the spine. Lift your arms all the way up. Just reach a little bit further. Good. Just go lengthening all the way up to welcome the whole new week and then open and rotate to the side and then come back. So it was a little bit pause over there just to lengthen the belly muscles, the abs muscles. <laughs> Good. Keep breathing to the opposite side and then come back and a couple more times. Now do it with your own breath. So inhale down and exhale lift to the other side and then come back. Good. And two more times each side. And slowly bring your hands down. Gently straight your hips, take a deep breath, you know, deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. All right, now bend your knees, open your legs with the part hands behind your hips, close your elbows. Now lift your hips a little bit higher. So this time make a little pulse here with the hips. And you can always try to put your shoulders further away from your ears. You can put your forearms down if it's easier for the wrist. So listen to your body. Awesome. Couple more times. And slowly bring your hips down. Now lengthen your legs again. Put your forearms down. Inhale, engage your abs. Lift your leg up and to the other side. And then come back to the opposite side. And then bring it back. Good. And eight more times each side. Seven. Keep breathing. Six. That's amazing. And five more times to the other side. Four. Inhale and exhale. Three. Slowly bring your leg down with control. Two. Don't just drop it. Awesome. Put your shoulders far away from your ears. Really open the chest. Last one. And slowly allow yourself to sit up again. Hug your knees to your chest. Take a deep breath. Inhale deeply. And exhale deeply. It seems so easy and feel really satisfied for me today. I hope you feel the same. All right. And now for the next movement, I wanted to go to on four position. So open your arms, shoulders apart and your legs. Hip width apart. Now this time, I wanted to tuck your feet, lift your knees a little bit higher, just above the mat, and then lift all the way up, and then knee bend, and then down. So do it like a two steps. Inhale, one, two, and two, and one. And a couple more times with your own breath. Keep breathing. The reason why I wanted to go to two steps because we will need to engage your abs and work all the muscles before we put your knees down. Keep breathing. And slowly, last one, bring your knees down. Take a deep breath, inhale deeply through your nose. And exhale deeply through your mouth. Forearms down. Shoulders far away from your ears. Lengthen your leg. Lift your leg up and down. And switch. You can make it more challenging by bringing the opposite arm towards the front. And to the other side. Good. And five more times each side. Lengthen. Come back. Four. 
in three. Keep breathing. Two. Engage your abs as much as possible. We really, really need to keep your hips stabilized. And last one, lengthen to the other side and slowly bring your hands down. Come to tripods, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath, exhale deeply, and one more deep breath, and exhale deeply. All right, so now I want to, you to really go for this challenge before we move to the kuda part. So bring the forearms to the front. Lengthen your legs to fall plank. Open your legs with the part. Now bring your hips down to the part. You're back in neutral position. Lengthen the neck and look to the middle of your fingers. We already feel that it's crazy burning. And then I want to allow yourself to inhale. Lift your hips all the way up. And then bring your hips down. And lift it up slowly. Do it super slow. And then bring it back. The slower we do, the more challenging it is. And I really want you to listen to your lower back here. So come back and shift and lift and down. Good. And one more time. And then bring it back. And slowly knees bend. Come to try pull. That's awesome, guys. I'm so proud. Inhale deeply to your nose. And exhale deeply to your mouth. Alright, and now you need to allow yourself to sit along the mat and we're going to do some cool down before we complete. So lengthen your legs, arms to the front, relax your shoulders, now round your spine, move your torso forward, come back and then lengthen and fall. Inhale, lengthen, three, two, good. And last one. And then slowly bring your torso down, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Now bend one knee. I'm gonna go to the opposite side first. So you can see my face first. Hand to the opposite thigh, look towards the back. Relax your shoulders. And then to the opposite side. Gently engage your abs here. Look towards the back or just as fast to the side as you can. And then bring it back to the center. Now bend your knees and then hands on your thighs. Gently stretch your back and open your chest. Look to the front and then roll your spine in your chest. So I'm going to try to do a couple more times with your own breath. Inhale and exhale out. In three, come back. Two, and last one, and round and slowly bring it back to the center. Just gently shake your hips, take a deep breath, and then deeply through your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth, and one more time, and exhale deeply. All right, now I want you to keep your feet to the center, open your knees wider, gently shake your hips, take a deep breath. And rock your torso from left to right if you feel like doing it. So I can listen to your body. All right. And now hands on your knees, cross your legs. Articulate your spine, get in current sitting position. And then row your spine. And then arch your back. And row, exhale. You can close your eyes yet to feel how your body keep balancing. And how your body control, how your mind control your body. It's pretty interesting if you have, uh, haven't tried to close your eyes when moving your body on the mat, then please try it at least once. All right, good. And slowly bring your torso back to the center. Take a deep breath and then deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And one more deep breath. And exhale deeply. All right, open your arms to the side. Now inhale, lean on one side. Exhale, come back. Inhale to the other side. And exhale, bring it back. And a couple more times. Lengthen to feel the side of your body is lengthening. And back to the center. Good. Keep breathing. 
and slowly bring it back one more time to the other side and back to the center rotate the shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse rotate the wrist reverse then you can interlace your fingers and rotate and reverse reach your hands all the way up exhale down good inhale and exhale it's super perfect if this is gonna be like when you need some energy for the day in the morning or just in the middle of the afternoon I think it is perfect work out for it lift and down and open your arms to the side reach to the other side and back to the center one more time and to the opposite side and slowly bring it back hands on your knees straight your hips take a deep breath and exhale deeply and one more deep breath and exhale deeply and that's the work after today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, please let me know by commenting below. I would love to answer it. And also, I would love to hear your update as well. So let me know how do you feel? How are you recently? Do you have any plan for the holidays, for the incoming holidays? I would love to hear it. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye.